this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to talk about moment of inertia which is a very important concept in our uh, calculations and stability. Well, uh, this is uh, under the basic stability calculation series that I'm doing with you and in this video I'm going to talk about the basic, the moment of inertia of the basic shapes. Moment of inertia or second moment of area the unit is meter raised to 4. We'll start with the basic shapes starting with the rectangle. This is the centroid of the rectangle. This is length and we have breadth here. Uh, mind you, the axis is parallel to the length side passing through the centroid. The moment of inertia about this axis is L b cube upon 12. As you can see, the unit would be meter raised to 4. If the axis was perpendicular to the length, for the moment of inertia about this axis would be b l cube upon 12. So you can see along the axis it is power 1 and perpendicular to the axis it is power 3. Right? So uh, this is the moment of inertia for a rectangle axis passing through the centroid. If we consider the shape circle, you know, here is the diameter, right? And here is the axis passing through the centroid naturally because the diameter is always passing through the centroid. Now, moment of inertia about this axis is pi d raised to 4 upon 64. In case of a triangle, in case of a triangle, where <coughs> you consider this as base and here's the height of the triangle then one third from the base is the position of centroid this means that if the triangle of this base and this height is this way or it is this way the moment of inertia would be same because it depends only on the height of the triangle from the base and the length of the base. So moment of inertia about an axis parallel to the base is bh cube upon 36. So uh, these are the basic shapes, the rectangle, the circle and the triangle. Having understood the basic moment of inertia about these axis or second moment of area about this axis, now let us now understand what is theorem of parallel axis. Now the concept of moment of inertia, you know, you have to understand it like mass. In a linear motion, what is the importance of mass? Same is the importance of moment of inertia in a rotatory motion. So uh, to understand the importance of moment of inertia in rotatory motion, let us consider a case of unbalanced rudder and let's see what difference it makes when it is balanced rudder you're trying to turn the rudder from uh, this position now is the effort same when you turn the rudder about this axis or this axis well if the size of the rudder is same you know if the size of rudder is same the power that is required to turn the rudder over here is four times the power that is required over here. That is the difference. That difference is made by the position of axis. That difference is made by moment of inertia. This is what is moment of inertia, right? So uh, it's a, a typical example to understand the uh, moment of inertia as well as the theorem of parallel axis. Like, we must understand that the moment of inertia is minimum and therefore the effort is minimum when the axis is passing through the centroid. And as the axis is taken away from the centroid, more you go away from the centroid, more will be the effort required to turn the rudder. Right? So with the help of balanced and unbalanced rudder, you get an idea like what is the importance of the position of axis. Let's try and understand what is this theorem of parallel axis? As I just said, the moment of inertia 
about an axis which is passing through the centroid is minimum and suppose this is 9 and this side is 4 length is 9 the breadth is 4 the moment of inertia about this axis would be 9 into 4 cube upon 12 meter is to 4 so that would be 48 meter is to 4 48 meter is to 4 now if I want to find out the moment of inertia about the axis if it passes through the edge the moment of inertia will be the moment of inertia about the centroid axis that is 48 plus AD square where A is the area of the plan, plane and D is the distance between the two axes that is the centroid axis and the parallel axis. So it would be 48 plus area 9 into 4 36 D is uh, half of 4 that is 2 meters into 2 square. So uh, this would be uh, 144 plus 48 that is equal to 192 and you can see that 192 meter raised to 4 is 4 times 48 meter raised to 4 right so it means that in a simple case of a rectangle if I uh, want to know what is the moment of inertia about the edge of edge of the plane it is 4 times the moment of inertia about the centroid the similar thing will happen if we talk about the moment of inertia about this axis and this axis and in this case the distance is going to be d is going to be 4.5 meters of course the moment of inertia would be different than 48 because we have changed the direction of axis but if we consider the direction to be this way then the minimum moment of inertia is about the centroid and as you go away from the centroid the moment of inertia increases let's see what is the moment of inertia about the diameter the d in this case is suppose 8 meter right so the moment of inertia about this axis would be pi d raised to 4 upon 64 so that is equal to pi into 8 square that is 64 right so as 3.14 into 64 gives me 200.96 meter raised to 4. In case of triangle, let's, let's take a situation where the B is equal to 8 meter and H is equal to 9 meters. So it is moment of inertia about the centroid axis parallel to the base is equal to 8 into 9 upon bh cube upon 36 right moment of inertia about this axis is bh cube upon 36 so uh, that would be this will become 9 square and this is 4 to the 162 meter raised to 4 right so uh, if I want to find out what is the moment of inertia about the apex, I can find out by the similar principle, right? Uh, the moment of inertia about a parallel axis is moment of inertia about the centroid axis plus AD square. Now, uh, we will try to apply the moment of inertia formula and principle in finding out where is the uh, position of center of pressure. Let us now understand what is center of pressure with the help of a simple example, a rectangular tank. Suppose you have a tank and you fill it up with the water. Now what happens is, suppose this tank is full of water and let's say this is a rectangular tank. Now we are considering this side. So if we consider this side and if we see it from the side, the pressure that is exerted by the head of water over here is zero. But pressure that is exerted at the bottom is maximum for uh, uh, this tank. And as you know, the pressure depends on the height. It depends on the density of uh, liquid, right? And uh, the force is equal to pressure multiplied by the area. 
Now if we consider the pressure because of the water and draw the graph according to the pressure and the height, the graph would be something like this. You know, maximum pressure at the bottom and zero pressure at top and mean pressure at half the height. That's the mean pressure. But if we consider the single point, if we want to find out the single point at which we can assume that the entire pressure is acting, right? So that point is called center of pressure. Center of pressure is a point where we can assume that the entire pressure because of the liquid is acting. So uh, to understand center of pressure, I think it uh, is better that a student understands it as center of thrust. Where is the single point where the thrust due to liquid is acting? Now, uh, let us find out in case of a rectangular tank, where is the position of center of pressure? Now, if this is a tank, and let us say the height is 6 meters, and this may be uh, maybe 5 meters, the position of center of pressure is the moment of inertia about water level. Now in this case if we look at the bulkhead of this tank, this is the level of water. The level of water is 6 meters high. So moment of inertia about uh, this water level divided by the area that is the wet area of the bulkhead multiplied by depth of the centroid. The depth of centroid of this rectangular plane is in this particular case 3 meters from top. Area, so uh, D is equal to 3. Area is 6 into 5, 30. And let us see what is the moment of inertia about the centroid first. If we consider this plane, the moment of inertia of, about the centroid axis is LB cube upon 12. So 5 into 6 cube upon 12. 90 meter is to 4. So moment of inertia about an edge axis or the water level will be 90 plus AD square. A is the area that is 30 and D is the distance through which we want to find out the new moment of inertia that is 3 square. So that is equal to 270, this part is 270 plus 90, that is 360 meter raised to 4, 360 meter raised to 4. So depth of COP, center of pressure below the water level is given by this formula moment of inertia about the water level divided by A into D. A is the wet area, D is the depth of centroid. So we get 4 meters below the water level you have center of pressure. It means that if you have a water head on one side and you want to support this bulkhead, you will not support it halfway. You will support in a position one third above the base, right? That is the position of center of pressure.